What is going on guys? Today we are out here. We are doing some ice fishing and look behind me. You can probably guess where we are. We are out here on Lake Mille Lacs. It is frozen over. We have good safe ice. Still check it if you're coming out. We have good safe ice. Made the long run out before the sun's up. It is going to be a gorgeous day and we are obviously going to be jigging a ton of walleye today. At least that's the goal anyways. Um, we're out here early and uh, we're out here on the mud flats. If you're familiar with Mille Lacs, it's a lot of like shoreline structure and then void of structure and then a ton of these mid lake mud flats um, that kind of you know it takes a while to get out to them it's kind of like a seven eight mile ride out to where we are but today we got myself uh, we got Josh with and we got Dax with they are gonna be getting ready to punch a ton of holes and uh, <clears throat> any kind of lake that's this big where you have structure that's just massive takes a ton of holes um, to kind of get on these fish follow them around and really catch them throughout the day so that's what we're about to do now I'm excited I'm excited to jig a ton of fish so stay tuned we're gonna get it going on All right, holes are drilled. It's time to start fishing. And uh, I'm gonna be rocking the Elliott Evolution. 42 inch medium with uh, some eight pound ice braid on there. Little eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And then the aggressive Acme Hyper Rattle right there. And that's the mid size right there. You can fish the full size or the one smaller size. Um, but it's a super awesome search bait. By that I mean in 27 feet of water, it'll just fly down to the bottom, right? I'm not even putting any bait on there. And I'm getting it down there and I'm probably holding it like four feet up off bottom. And I'm just doing real hard pumps like this, really making that thing dance. And uh, a couple things it's doing. One thing it's attracting fish from a long ways away. So we get a good idea right away how many fish are here, even if they don't eat. And uh, like I said, you can just go hold a hole, drop down real quick. Don't have to worry about bait and uh, just an aggressive bait where you can kind of seek and destroy right away in the morning until we kind of dial in on something better. Or a lot of days you kind of end up doing this all day long. They have no fear of eating very aggressive baits out here in Mille Lacs. Too bad. Not a big one, but we'll take them. A lot of fish on the graph, and a few of them are coming up and biting. It's a lot more kind of a lot of fish moving, not a lot biting. But uh, there's a little 17 incher. We'll let him go and get back for more because they're so. Incredibly lethargic actually went to a spoon a little eighth ounce Rattle Acme Rattle Master here purple just a minnow head on it And instead of just flying it away from those fish like normally we're Doing a lot more just kind of sitting it there and just thumping it in place till they grab it eat it Eat it Oh my gosh right there It's just kind of leaning on it Actually, I am running solo. I'm not even really catching a lot of fish, but uh, the guys are kind of set up back at the spot we started on, and we are catching fish there, and there is, man, he just came right off, and there is fish there. However, uh, I'm just kind of doing the bomb around, try to find the mother load um, approach today, which is good, because this is kind of my first day on the lax. We're gonna let that guy go. About a 17 incher there. And uh, yeah, as they're kind of sitting back there, I'm just going spot to spot to spot to spot, trying to find just that huge pile of fish somewhere um, where we can kind of camp out or where I can fish the next couple of days. You know, there's just so much water out here. You hate to just, you know, kind of land on a spot and spend the day there, if you know what I'm saying. All right, just move, new spot. Oh my gosh, it's hooked up immediately. Kind of spent the morning, it's getting heavy. Yeah, getting a little better here. Spent the morning on spot number one. It just kind of dried up, so I did some moving around and. There we go. Another nice one. 
Yeah, he uh, he hit it really hard. Throttled it. Good. Yeah, probably three, four feet off the bottom. Just shot right up and smoked it. Well, that's better than the one that we were fishing for. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a lethargic pot of fish that moves spots and all of a sudden biting over here. So early this morning we started out with a lot of real aggressive stuff um, like the hyper rattles and things like that. Kind of as the day has gone on we've been reading a lot of these marks and a lot of these fish are just creeping up you know a foot or so and they're just kind of hanging there you know they're not super charged up they're not darting around way off bottom so we've kind of moved a little bit more um, of kind of the our cast master and eighth ounce and 12th ounce stuff and uh, just a little minnow head on there and um, most days i do not have to go this subtle uh, but today it's definitely been that way i don't know if it's just weather or whatever it is but most of the time i'm relaxed i'm fishing very aggressive ripping the thing like five to ten feet off bottom a lot of times trying to get active fish to come in when today it's a lot more kind of a, a slowed down version of that and basically what i'm doing is i'm getting the bait down there you know three feet up four feet up and i'm just kind of hammering it in place right and a lot of times when these fish when you first mark them all you do is raise it away from them and they come up super charged and bite today it's just a lot more pound it let them get real close and then either slow down that pound and just kind of pull it away a couple inches um or you know something like that a lot of days you do not have to go this subtle to catch fish on this lake most of the time like i said i'm doing a lot more stuff like this still might do stuff like this to get some attention but when it's time to get a bite i go back to this little pound and just kind of creep it away from them or just don't even move it. Just let them kind of come up and um, grab it. Hooked up right there. Fish on. Finally starting to put a few together anyways. It's been a lot of just kind of going around spot to spot looking for fish. And uh, that's the first one I've had that's really ate this thing real deep here. But that's what I like to see. Chomp that thing. Cast master to the back of the throat. Might honestly need my forceps to get this thing out of here. We're gonna do it just to keep a little better care of this guy. Grab that hook, just pop it out real quick. Look at that, that is what we are after right there. That is what I am talking about. And uh, not a big one here. I actually just lost a really good one, which kind of sucked right at the hole. But uh, catching a few anyway, we'll let them go. I'm kind of the scout man, and I'm just kind of running around spot to spot out here, looking for fish on different spots. And uh, it seems like most spots are checking have fish. Kind of matters if they're actually active fish or if they're just kind of lethargic. In most spots, I'm seeing a lot of fish that are just barely coming off the graph and kind of sinking back down to bottom. Dax is hooked up. Grab the deucer. Decent or? Yeah, it's alright. I'll take them all. Still. Low 20s. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Another cookie cutter. Can't beat that spoon. The old blue rattle master. Not super fast, but steady today. Seriously, yeah. But I got a feeling once the sun goes from like right there to there, it's gonna be super fast. Here he goes. Right there. That feels heavy. Of course, I'm fighting him on a really light rod. Brought the 44 inch light finesse and kind of downsized my spoon to a 12 ounce instead of the bigger eighth ounce just because they're seeming kind of lethargic. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is what we're after right there. Sun's getting low. Catching fish. That one hit it a little better than the other ones. We'll take them like that. This is what we're after right there. 
Feels good to be back on the big lake jigging walleyes. We have not had a crazy day, but it is good catching them. Two of them. There we go. One of them had to bite. <laughs> Whenever you get two on the graph, odds are extremely high that one of them will go. Not a big one. Another walleye though, as the sun's going down. And get them popped off. It has not been I would say a great Mille Lacs day, but it has been a steady and fun day on Mille Lacs. There we go. We're going to let him go back for more. Dropping down any bit? No, he came way off. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Working the sundown window. Yeah. That's probably a decent one, huh? It's got some good shakes. Yeah, it does. A good one. Heck yeah. As the sun's going down, look at that. Kind of slowly starting to mark less and less. Beauty. The theme today has been mark a lot of fish, catch a few fish. But can't complain too much. There he goes. Alright, well that is going to do it for today's video. First day on Mille Lacs of the year. Felt good to be out, caught a bunch of fish. Was not a great fast action day, but it was, uh, we did catch some fish. Um, you want to do a recap, Dax? Uh, we found a lot of snow drifts that are covering the jagged ice. Uh, travels, we went what, 15 miles today, travel is fine. Yeah. Ice is as solid as can be. Not a lot of people out, a lot of fish. We found a lot of fish, this all of them didn't bite all at once. Yeah, we'll be up here for a few days. Fish are overall pretty neutral today, and uh, there's like a big front coming in tomorrow, warm weather, and uh, we're hoping it's gonna pop off. So we'll be back tomorrow, me, Josh, and Dax, catching a whole bunch of walleyes out here on Mille Lacs Lake. So stay tuned. If you're not yet, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.